G'day YouTubers, thanks for dropping by the TSC Recycle Channel, formerly known as The Spontaneous Collection. Today's video I'm showing you how to strip a CD DVD drive for free neodymium magnets, also called rare earth magnets. This is the little mechanism it's hidden inside. That's the optical laser mechanism found in all CDs and DVDs. I'm getting mine out of a PC. You can get yours out of a CD player or a DVD player. If you need help on stripping it down, you can watch my other video, Scrapping a CD-ROM Drive. It's pretty simple. Get yourself a unit, get the case off, get inside it. Once you've done that, remove all the boards. These are worth some money as well, so don't throw them away. They're good for a bit of cash. Once the boards are out, get to this little mechanism here. That's where the goodies are. Once you've done that, you're left over with steel, copper, PCB boards, a bit of plastic, and also magnets hidden inside this little unit. All right, let's get started. That optical laser mechanism is pretty simple to strip down. I just use a screwdriver to get all the bits and pieces off there. There's a bit of uh, stainless steel covering on there that always gets in the way. Screws are tiny, so just pry them open and you'll see the glass laser mechanism inside, the optical mechanism. Just pry that apart and you will get into it. And there's the neodymium magnet. It's a small magnet, but it's still substantially strong. Sometimes a pair of pliers or side cutters come in handy to get it out of there. There's one neodymium magnet. Just having a close look. Nothing worth salvaging there. I'll put that aside. Now this particular unit has two neodymium magnets inside. Once you get rid of all the bits and pieces, you'll expose the neodymium magnets. Now they are sandwiched in a steel case. Once you pull that out, you can separate the magnet from the steel casing by using a pair of side cutters and a pair of pliers at the same time. Just use a bit of force, but be careful, do not crush the magnets, they are fragile. It's a bit fiddly, but it's well worth the effort. You can use these magnets in experiments at home, or I've seen people put them into ceiling fans to turn them into electric generators. That's one magnet out already. Now these magnets are super strong. I'll give you a look at how strong that is. It'll twitch and jump as soon as you put a metallic screwdriver near it. All right, that's one down one to go. Of course I'll have a little play with it before I get back to work. Now if you choose, you could put all these little bits and pieces aside and put them in a scrap pile. Now for the second magnet. Pry that out. Lever the sides out with your side cutters making sure you don't crush the magnet of course. It's a bit fiddly but they do come out relatively easy. Now as I mentioned you can find these in CD ROM drives, DVD ROM drives or just your basic home CD DVD player. That's all there is to it. Simple as two neodymium magnets from a pile of scrap. Didn't have to spend a cent on that. Normally they'd be worth a few dollars on eBay. So I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming soon. I seriously appreciate all your comments, likes, and even the dislikes. If you dislike, leave a comment. Let me know what you don't like and I'll fix it. 
Now I've hit my 100th subscriber this month, so thank you to you. You know who you are. But please, watch a few ads, help us keep YouTube free, because without your support, who knows what will happen. Be good, be kind, be careful. Till next time.